Okay, so we're back. This will be part two, Friday, December the 9th, and we'll get going here in a little bit. Uh, let's get the link out. <laughs> Blah. Yeah, I'm on my third cup of coffee, so... So here we go. Let's see. Today, what are we going to be doing? News trade. Um, if you have any questions on the video before this about Renko and how to use it, feel free to hit me up. Skype, YouTube, Slack group, or email. Whichever. Oh, I'm also on Facebook. And da, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at a couple things. All right, so today we're going to be doing a consumer con consumer sentiment, not confidence. God, let me just cut and paste this. There we go. Preliminary consumer sentiment. Now, this one has the potential to move. It's not like the revised one where it's usually just a freaking dud and it doesn't move at all. There's a small potential for it to move. So. Um, if you're in the news course, again, guys, this does fall into our tradable area. It's during the London and U.S. session. It is a USD release. So it is a go for live trade if you're on live. If you're on demo, just keep on going until all your questions are answered. I highly recommend do your first 30 days demo, then bump up to 0 0.01 live, and then you can go full-blown live. We have probably half the group on full-blown live now, though. So take your time. Don't rush it just take your time what I'm seeing are data entry mistakes that are causing the majority of things to go wrong uh, we will be using the v7 it is live now um, I have not yet got to update mega with it I'm reworking the book again for the third one since v7 did change a few things so let's get prepped um, uh, live first for live I am only trading euro USD and USD JPY US CAD is not in the mix and GBP USD is not in the mix for this release. So it, for me, I am only trading on my live account Euro USD and USD JPY. I'm using a three pip Renko bar with a six pip straddle. So that covers that. Let's close uh, this puppy up and let's get to setting it up. So first thing we need to do, let's start from scratch. We got uh, 18 minutes, so we got plenty of time to knock this shit out. File, new chart, Euro USD. I'm gonna actually set this up twice for y'all. We go to move this fucker over here. I don't like it. Sorry, my language is bad today. I'm wide awake. I got a lot of sleep and my cold is over. Finally feel better. One minute chart. Template it. Build it. Now what did we just build? Remember, three pip wrinkle boxes. This is FXCM. If you're on Pepperstone, two pip wrinkle boxes. Uh, Pepperstone bastards, get it better. Sorry to put it that way. Okay, next we want to open up the Euro USD. It tells us what to open up. Euro USD M79. Uh, Mel will go over your stuff after news. Or if I should have enough time to talk about it actually here. Okay, so we're going to go open offline. We know it's Euro USD. Click it, hit E, go to Euro USD, and we're looking for that M79. Euro, 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 Euro. Let's load it up, template it. Once again, Rinko News. I have a shit ton of templates here. You'll see on uh, the one that's closer to my live setup. Okay, so this is FXCM setup only. Okay, so F7 it. We know news is today. What time is news? It is the 12th for the month. The day is the 9th. We're running system time. So news is at 9 o'clock my time. Put in the appropriate time for yourself there. Everything else. We will do wait after to 7 on this one. Uh, five, six, or seven, guys. That's it. Don't go above seven. Down at the bottom, we are using V7. MA trailing stop is now set to false. There is no fucking possible way now that you can get stopped out more than one bar. Okay? So your trailing stop is tight. TP, I do have a max set. Max loss, we're going to drop that to zero now. Max loss is no longer even used. We're taking it out. Reason being is if we get a one tick spread spike and it's set at 15 and we get a one tick spread spike of 17 pips, it's going to close the trade prematurely. So let's go through it. And we want a six pip straddle, so we're doing 60. 
I am all set up. Let's hit save and we'll save it as nine o'clock. So that way we don't have to do this again. <clears throat> so let's review the changes for V7. TP you can keep in. I don't have any stop loss and I have no max loss. I do not want to get hit by a one tick spread spike. This is what V7 does away with. It does away with the one tick spread spikes. The trade will run. And if it has a tight ass stop loss on it. So we're good. Going down to the bottom. MA trailing stop is now off. It is no longer used. Down here, this is your V7 changes. So there you go. We will do it one more time. Next up, file, new chart, USDJPY. One minute it. Right click it. We're going to get close to real time speed on setting this up. Build news. And it is loaded. USDJPY. File. Open offline. USDJPY M79. We're done. Template it. Rinko news it. F7 it. Load the 9 o'clock. Hit OK. Now, uh, I'm not going to do it right now, but we are going to go over the settings for the Rinko box. Remember, F7, we can drop this down to. You need time to review it. On NFP, I'd probably crank this up to about 3,000 because it could really move, but I think 1,000 will be good. So let's do template after we change it to 1,000. We're going to do save template. And it's build news. Save. Now, I don't have to do it every time. F7. This will speed up your charts, make them more responsive, especially for your Amazon VPS users. I know that gets you down to a four, some of you are at a four to eight millisecond ping now. That 70 millisecond ping is gone. So take advantage of it. Get your MT4 running as fast as you can. For our final chart, this is demo only. As I am set up now, this is what it looks like on my laptop for live. Euro USD and USD JPY only. We've got 14 minutes still, so we got plenty of time. And this is an FXCM setup. It is three pip boxes, three pip Rinko bars with a six pip straddle. Let's throw in our wild card, which is going to be USD CAD. One minute, right click, template, build news, let it load, US CAD M79, open offline, USD CAD, la la la, where the fuck are ya? There we go. See the difference? It's only loading a thousand. Woohoo! That's going to give us some speed. Template, Rinko News. F7 it, load it, and 9 o'clock it. And OK. We are set. Woohoo. Next, let's do Pepperstone setup. Now, Pepperstone, guys. Um, your straddle. Personally, I think six is a little big, but it is safer. On this demo, I am going to run a five pip straddle. So let's start it off. I already got US CAD, USD Euro, and US J USD JPY. Remember, I'm comparing the spreads during news of forex.com with fxcm.com. So far, fxcm is lagging behind on it. So in January, I may switch my live account from fxcm over to forex.com because their spread during news is lower. The native spread is a tad bit higher on some pairs like US CAD, but it's lower on Euro or USD and USD JPY. So the native spread is better, but the news spread is way better. Uh, US CAD, the native spread is complete shit. Okay, so US CAD Pro M79, let's take a look at it. Here's 20, I'm using a two pip wrinkle box. Let's drop this to 1000, hit okay, let it reload. I'm gonna just go through all three of them and drop them to 1000. Definitely on the VPS, let's drop these to 1000 guys. This is something I completely forgot to miss. It will be in the PDF for the book. I keep finding little things I missed, and I apologize. Or like uh, the V7 was a bourbon idea that seems to be panning out quite well. Okay, so we are all set up now. Let's open them up. US CAD Pro. It says US CAD M79. So let's go to File, Open Offline. Now you can see this is my uh, VPS, and it is set up more along the lines of how my real setup is. I have zero shit open other than the charts I need. So US CAD. I'm sorry, yes, US CAD, M79, right click, template. You can see I only have two templates in here. On your VPS, you need it bare bones as shit. Don't add anything in extra, don't be trading from it, use it for news only, so we can get that speed out of it. 
Now, time is 9.49, so that's a little bit different on our setup. Let's load. Ah, let's just go through it from scratch. So we're going to be doing a 5-pip straddle. Take profits in there. I have it at 300 pips. Doesn't matter. Just it's in there. I'll explain that later. Stop loss, max loss, 0. Month is 12. Day, 9. Hour on this one is going to be 10 because this is a different time zone. 0 it. 10 o'clock, 60, we'll set it to 7 for the stage 2. Remember, let's go down to the bottom, and false, this will take care of it. This is V7. This one says beta, but it, this is the live version is now done. I uh, shared it in the Slack group, so check the Slack group so you can get up to V7. What did I do wrong? 12, 9, at, uh, I forgot the date. See? Even I screw up, guys. It's good to go back. 9. Like I said, the, the, most, the errors that I see typically are data entry errors when you're first getting into the course. Data entry errors will cause it. And I know you go two weeks and you make some money, and then all of a sudden you're like, fuck it, I'm going live. And then you make that data entry error and lose it. Okay, so save. And this one's 10. Save. Okay, we still got 10 minutes till news, so we're in no rush at all. Uh, da, da. Next is EURUSD. So file, open offline, EURUSD. God, I am just a mess today. And then immediately template, Renko News, and load it. Want the 10 o'clock set that we just created? Wait for it to load. Does everything look good? Do we have our happy face? Let's move on. USD JPY. M79, open offline, there we go, F7 that shit, template, Rinko News, F7, load it, 10 o'clock set, and we are good. So I just set up six pairs literally in less than, what, 10 minutes? This shit isn't difficult, guys. I mean, even if... Basically, if you set this up once a day, let it run, you'll make money. Um, minus data entry errors and any weird shit that happens. The V7 is super fabulous. So next, we want to be able to watch all three pairs. So what I do is up here is arrange windows. Bam. I see a blue box. We minimize it. And let's hit arrange windows again. Bam. I did a video on how to record your trades. I highly recommend you record your trades. That way you can do them frame by frame to see what the hell went on. It will help you figure out things quite effectively. Uh, if it's free software, go out and get it. You can record all your freaking trades. Leave the audio out because we don't want to hear your shit. Okay, so again, up top, arrange windows. So I need minimized, minimized, minimized. Bam it up. And douchey, douchey. And we're good. So we got eight minutes to spare until news hits. Do we have questions? Uh, I'll review my settings. Live, I'm trading Euro USD and USD JPY. I am using FXCM as my live broker. I am doing three pip Rinko bars with a six pip straddle. We are using V7 now. V6 will be replaced officially today. I did drop it in the group for you, so you have it available. Check the PDF. Uh, I am completely reworking the PDF, so I would say give me till Saturday or Sunday, hopefully. If um, if my daughter goes for a sleepover tonight, then I'll have it ready. It's all about her, though. <laughs> this is going to be consumer sentiment, USD trade. Uh, we're trading only majors. Why? I just get no connection. If my internet fucking goes down again, I swear to God. I have had two outages right before 9 o'clock news in the last three weeks. The internet's gone down. Okay, so I went to no connection on uh, FXCM. Let's check. Uh, internet is good. Am I live? Can y'all still hear? We will see. And then I'm going to sound like a dumbass for saying this. Well, we got a backup, so let's check.
price is moving over here, so I'm assuming that means I'm still live. Okay, yeah, I've been so fucking pissed twice before news. I mean, this is what's good about having a VPS. If the internet goes down, I'm already set up. It doesn't matter. Even if the internet goes... The, the problem is, is if the internet goes down on your desktop, since we're not using a... a it will fail. We reconnected good. Um, we'll watch this one live. This is going to have the worst results possible, and this one should have better results. Um, basically, what I'm doing, guys, is I am using Forex.com because I want to be able to pull it in closer with the European traders. You bastards can use Pepperstone, and you are just burying the American traders in the amount of pips you're pulling in. So hopefully by January, I have a definitive answer on Forex.com. After this trade, we will review the data and show what the spreads were. The EA does it all for you. Remember, just go in there, put the data in your spreadsheets so that you can see what's going on. The spreadsheet is your Bible when you're news trading. The, the, the EA is going to give you the data you need. Put it in your spreadsheet. We've got five minutes. So if we have questions, get them out there. And I will suck down some coffee. sleeps over will have PDF out uh, Mel we will go over your issues I'm not sure what happened on yours uh, well and mine it's just weird that hadn't happened before and when I checked it it did the exact same thing as you uh, the workaround you have it worked just fine so like I said I guess I'll have to throw that in the PDF on setting up multiple charts with the same pair that's just annoying but dropping down the, the ring dropping down the bar size will definitely help it out the only thing I'm concerned about by dropping down the bar size is let's say you're at work and you come home with only a thousand or two thousand bars running, it might push the trade off the screen. So what do we got? Uh, 857. Let's I'll pull this in so you can see what happens. Stage one will hit at All right, so 58, 30. So 30 seconds, we'll see what happens here. Remember guys, double check for you that are in the course, double check your data entry. The biggest mistakes I'm seeing are data entry errors. And I know for some of you, you've gone live a little bit early. Do your 30 days demo to work out those freaking Okay, so stage one just hit. We can't see it on here, but this is uh, 200 pips. This 200 pips off. It just posted the straddle. So stage one worked, just like it's supposed to. Basically, what that does is uh, gets us prepped. We have now stage two will kick in four seconds before the trade. It 
Yeah, you can add me on Skype there, or Brian at... I don't know which one I'm under on Skype, so... Add me on either one of those on Skype. Um, I, look, I'm not trying to sell. This is mainly for my group, but I, I had already said that I was going to freak, freaking show the live trading when I did the wrinkle bars. Watch the original video I did. I mean, it's really good. It helps you control your trading. You'll like it a lot. I know a lot of people aren't fans of Rinko. Okay, six, five, four. Here we go, stage two. I'll shut up. And let's see what happens here. News set in. We're looking at nothing so far. It's looking like a dud. Six, seven. Now it's going to... Okay, so... This is what we'd call a dud. It didn't do a goddamn thing. <laughs> so the straddle, what happened is that stage two, stage one was 60 seconds out. It paces your pending orders. Stage two at four seconds out, it it takes it. And then what happens is your pending orders move with price. And when the news hits, so at this time at nine o'clock, then the pending orders freeze. And if price spikes through it, the order is placed. It's pretty simple, guys. It's just it's a it's a little bit of work to learn it. Not work. Mainly, the biggest thing is keeping your spreadsheet up to date. So, guys, we had a dud today. That's what was expected. I wasn't expecting too much of a movement. Um, if you want to see what it looks like here, I can find one that looks like this is what it looks like when it works. Da, da, da. Let me see if I can find something. Uh, da, da. See if I can find one that works. So you can see what it looks like live. Well, not live, but blah. Mm. I right, crap. This isn't VLC. I can't. F well, let's just skip. So this would been. Uh, we got about a minute till it hits. I record all my trades. Everything's on YouTube. If you want to see how the news course works, on my YouTube channel, I don't hide a goddamn thing. Every news trade I do. Uh, NFP is a godsend. Yes. <laughs> Here was a trade. There we go. Let me put it on VLC so we can take a look at it better because I can't do frame by frame with this. Uh, da, da, da. Let me open up. Yeah, NFP, you'll be for the first time in as far as I can remember though, NFP has been a dud two months in a row. But yes, NFP typically you can make. I mean, it really depends, but I, last time I made 60-some pips in about 10 seconds. The the EA, what the most of the group is running off of is right now, they're, some of them are running off of a VPS that gives them one millisecond ping, but most of them are running off, and I show how to get an Amazon VPS that takes uh, gives you it for a dollar for like a year, and that brings you down to about a four to eight millisecond ping. Blah, blah, blah. Shut up, shut up. Where's my volume so I can shut myself up? Uh, no, this isn't it. I'm trying to find a live trade. If you go to my YouTube channel, there, there's a ton of live trades there you can see. I Like I said, I don't hide anything. It's... Um... <laughs> well, you're on my YouTube channel. So yeah, just look around on the YouTube channel. I believe I have a section that says news or something. Um... Let me find the goddamn link. And then, Mel, we'll talk about your issue. Well, we actually know your issue, and it's fixed. Not fixed, but I'll put, include it in the book for what we need to do. Here, let me find a trade I in the Slack room. Uh, signal news. And I run s the room out of Slack. Reason being is Skype sucks balls. I got kicked out of my own room, like, twice, and then I just gave it up. Here's a sample of a trade. Here, let's see, copy image URL. Oh, no. Okay, Slack, screw you. Maybe it's in general. I don't know. Okay, guys, just so I don't ramble on and cause this video to go over. Um, <coughs> do we have any questions or anything? Let me get the link to the news course. Again, I'm not trying to sell it. This is something you can just look on YouTube and see. I do this anytime there's a high-impact news release. I do this shit live so people can see it. It says purchase signals, but it's not signals. I, I originally... The way the news course came around, just so you know, was originally I was going to do signals based off of my news EA. 
Well, it turns out that that two millisecond time for the trade to go from me to you was fucking up the trade. So I said, screw it, and I offered about six months ago, five or six months ago, I decided to go ahead and uh, just give my EA out and s teach how to use it because it's the only way that you can actually be successful. Um, news trading, there are other news trading courses out there. And again, this is a, probably a review. The way this originally started up, it was an old indicator from TDS, which is a website. And people were running it on one minute, five minute, 15 minute time frames. So the first thing I did was, and it was extremely slow. So the first thing I did is had my coder speed up the EA. Second thing we did is we looked at moving it to Rinko because we could see, it's important to see what happens inside the one minute candle because typically your news release is over before that one minute candle closes. So by using Rinko, we can see exactly what happens inside the one minute candle. Two, it allows us to control the stop out of the trade because traditional trailing stops don't perform well with news. We are not using a traditional trailing stop. If this was been news, it would have shot up to here and it would have closed on this candle here. The moving average that's on there doesn't even come into play anymore. And so this is what it would look like. News would have shot up. Let's say we got in here, news would have shot up and it would have closed on this candle. The EA keeps an extremely tight stop loss now. Uh, for Pepperstone, it's even better because they're on a two pip candle and I'm on a three pip, so meh. Um, with the V7, I am super excited, and so far all we've had is freaking duds, really. I mean, I didn't trade US CAD and it pulled in 10 pips. I'm thinking with V7, I'll be able to trade US CAD with FXCM. So for the US guys, I mean, that's great. Uh, Forex.com versus FXCM, that's what we're looking at now. I have the feeling in January for the US guys, we're going to be moving to Forex.com. I will make the move first and spend my money. I don't want y'all spending it. So stick with FXCM now because it is making pips, making money. But I'll make the move to Forex.com first. I don't want y'all to spend any money. And I'll try them out live before I say it's a go, just like I did with FXCM. I just spilled coffee all over my shirt, and it's a white shirt. Son of a bitch. Okay, guys. Again, do we have questions on V7? Any of the guys that are in the course, do you have s questions? Let's review it real quick. For FXCM, I'm using 60 and 3, so 3 and 6. A 3-pip candle with a 6-pip straddle on normal news releases. NFP is completely different. NFP is a whole other fucking beast. That's why we do basically a week of prep before it. I know. This is a brand new shirt, too. Okay, so take profit. That's in there because without a baseline, I can't see slippage. If I have a zero take profit, zero stop loss, my slippage doesn't really show. This helps me get a baseline on slippage because it can compare. Okay, year, date, all that's the same. We skip over this shit, but TP needs it, stop loss, no, max loss, no. This used to be the fail safe, it is gone. V7 makes it uh, no longer needed. It, it's a much safer way to trade. If we go down the wait after, I'm using seven on the trades. That means when news hits for seven seconds here, let me show you real quick. What time is it? Uh, it's 2016, 12, 9. It is 9.07. Let's set this up for 9.10 to hit. Um, hour, minute. So I'm going to tell her that there is news at 9.10. Stage one, we'll do, and we'll do it for 30 seconds out so you can see how it follows. 9.08. Let's do 9.09. And we can make it pop immediately. Okay, so we're set up for news at 9.09. Let's see what happens. This is set up for the V7. So 9.09. It is 9.08.24. Should already be there. So there's our stage one. Our pending orders get placed way out here so they're there. Now here's stage two. It kicked in. Now what's going to happen, and this normally is four seconds out, but this is 30 seconds out. You see, every time price moves, these pending orders move with it. This keeps you a nice, tight straddle. And remember, guys, that are in the course, the goal here is your straddle needs to be slightly bigger than your average spread. Where do you get your average spread from? Your spreadsheet. That's why you do your 30 days. Your demo is going to show what your broker's average spread is. Now, we already know it for FXCM because a lot of us are in the group. So on normal use, I'm using a six pip straddle because that'll keep me in the trade before it fires. Now we can see what happened. I, I was talking, so we can't. Let's do it one more time for 9.10. Okay, so 9.10, if we look, stage one's out there. Let's zoom in so we can see what happens. So let's say you're not at home. Remember, 
this thing shuts itself down. That's one of the important things. So 30 seconds out, normally this is 4 seconds out, our straddle starts following price. When 9, 10 hits, you'll see everything freezes. Yeah, if nothing's hit, here's, here's what happens. See, it says wait after 7. So what it does is news hits at 10-10 uh, according to this. At 10-10, the two green lines freeze in place. So 10-10, green lines froze in place. Now if price hits it, an order is triggered. If a buy is triggered, immediately the sell is closed and price runs. Seven seconds went, nothing happened, so both orders are closed automatically. That way, if you're not at home, you can, like I said, this is for me, I set this up at night, and then I just review it the next morning for my European trades. Like if there's big Euro news and I set up USD JPY, and I'll set up Euro USD, and I go to bed. I don't have to do shit. Then I just come back the next day and review the trades. The way I review the trades is, da, 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 I use, and this is in it, we just use a little script that you throw on there. Here, I had a US CAD trade today, so let's bring it up. Uh, Euro USD, US CAD. So I had a trade on here earlier today. I want to review that trade. And this is the same thing they do. Once your trade's over, you just drag this on, hit OK. There was the trade from earlier today, right there. And that was the one I did on part one this morning. And we can see it was a 5.1 pip trade. If you can't see it very clearly. There it was. There was the buy and there was the close. But that's how you go back and review the trade. I also have, I record my trades so that I can do them frame by frame. Um, I was attempting to show that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. But basically, if you use, I showed how to use a free software. And then I use VLC to review the trade if I open it up properly. Reason being is with VLC, if you hold down the E button, you can move frame by frame and see it. What the hell am I doing? This must have been a screwed up recording. Oh, anyway. I believe this was one... I don't remember what version is. This is V7 Beta. Uh, this is when I was forcing trades. Um, you can kind of force trades. How many days how many trades can be set in advance? Is it rare that there are days of five, six high potency trades news? You can set as many as you want. I'm gonna actually revise. We're revi I'm revising the book to show how to set up multiple trades on the same uh, pair today. Um, the the EA you just have to create. So like you, you create an M79 for euro, and then you create the trade. Then you create an M78 for euro, and you create the trade. So you can have as many trades running like if there's three euro trades you can set up one for nine like for me for instance let's say there's a euro trade at 2 a.m my ass ain't gonna be up for that so i create a rinko and, and i create a one minute and a rinko for it and there's one at 3 30 so i'm not gonna be up for it so i create a rinko in a one minute and it takes that trade for myself and then again if there's one at four o'clock in the morning I, I create a third the only drawbacks you have are what your pc can handle um part of the way we deal with that is by going into the rinko builder and dropping down the Rinko size to about a thousand. So that way you don't have as many bars on the chart. Now we also, and this is all in there because you really want to optimize MT4, is you go into charts and we drop this down to 5,000 and 5,000. We want as little possible running on MT4. Uh, the VPS takes care of slippage, but your PC has to be able to handle sending that order off a of quick. I mean, hell, I've even done a whole before for people that aren't using the VPS, and that's why I highly recommend getting the Amazon one for a buck. I do the video on the setup for it. It's That's in my YouTube channel. Go look at it. You can get yourself a VPS for a buck for an entire year. And then at the end of the year, if you're a lazy, cheap fucking bastard, you can change your email address and sign up for again with a different prepaid credit card and get it for another fucking year for a buck. So... <laughs> I show some cheats and workarounds for everything. But mainly, yeah, you can set up as many pairs as you want. I mean, I don't get up... F it, when, when Once Brexit's done, that's when I set up multiple pairs because GBP and Euro News kicks in in the morning when I'm asleep, and there's no way I'm getting up at 3.30 or 2.30 in the morning. But GBP right now is off the table. It's on demo only because Brexit, the spread is just out of whack. We're seeing some really high spreads when GBP News hits, like... 
typically we would see four to eight, maybe 10 pip spreads, but we're seeing spreads pop into the 20 pips because Brexit, nothing has been set in stone for these bastards yet. Once it's set in stone, I think we'll see everything calm back down again, but we have nothing in stone on what the hell's going on. Just like when with Trump, now that he's elected, the, everything started slowly, it's slowly calming down, but it's calming. We need Brexit to put something in stone and say, this is our plan, this is what we're doing, and then GBP comes back on the table as viable for news trading. Right now, I'm doing... And if you're not in the United States, fuck you, because you get Pepperstone. Pepperstone has much better spreads, and it performs better than FXCM. And I don't mean that to be rude. It's just I'm pissed off because students are doing better than I am. I know that's bitter me. I'm, I didn't realize I was competitive until I saw people pulling in better results than me. <laughs> but, yeah, if you're not in the U.S., you can use uh, Pepperstone. They're an Australian broker. They're legit. We are only using 100% legit brokers, none of these bucket shop brokers. Because if they see you news trading, they'll shut your fucking ass down. This is only legit brokers. So FXCM, for me, uh, Forex.com is one that's on the table. Oanda was a piece of shit. They had huge gaps and spreads. Um, for Europeans, yeah, I know the Dow is still moving. And for Europeans, I recommend Pepperstone. Uh, they're a f Australian firm, completely 100% legit. I'm hoping when Trump gets in there with the Dodd Frank bullshit, if they can get it out of there so we can use legit foreign brokers again, that would be awesome because. If they if Trump gets that force through, dude, I will be happy as fuck, and I'll be on Pepperstone the next day. Um, do, do we have any other questions, guys? I know I kind of rambled on. Let us take a look at next week and see what we got on the table then. All right. So next week, tomorrow, nada, nada. Monday, China news. We don't fucking touch it. 80 pip spread. We do not touch it. It is not within our... It is not within what we trade. We only trade London session, US session, major pairs. China's a piece of shit. Stay away from it. I won't even demo China. Tuesday, GBP CPI. <sighs> trade it at your own risk live. I would highly advise don't trade GBP live. I will put V7 on this on demo on FXM. FXCM and on Forex.com. This will be a demo trade for me. I will not be trading it live. All right, so here we go with the good stuff. Wednesday. If V7 starts kicking in with GBP, because we ran it on paper, and V7 put GBP profitable, because it's taking the spread out of the picture. Um, one of the things the EA does is, and here I'll show, what we are dealing with is every now and then you get these freaking really high ticks with one tick with a super high spread. So what the EA does is it records everything for you. And guys, remember, you need to check this every day. So we go to MQL, Files. Here's the, what the EA creates. Oh, shit, I forgot the rename. Um, let's go with today is the 8th, 9th. Uh, let's look at today. It's not going to be there since nothing moved. Okay, so, oh, shut up. But what we're looking at is this column. This is the spread. MT4 doesn't record the spread, so we had to have the EA. So V7, what it does is, let's say I have a, and this is where it comes into play with the, let's see if we can find any number that looks funky. Let me get to where the news was. 1700. I'm not seeing any big ticks. Let's bring up yesterday's so we can see some ticks. Don't save. Uh, 888. There we go. So remember the idea, and this is for you guys in the course, the idea is your spread, your straddle needs to be smaller than the biggest, or slightly larger than the biggest spread. This is what USDJPY, so we're probably not going to see anything too crazy. But for instance, and just to keep it so, let's say you have a two pip straddle. This 2.8 pip would have popped a trade before it opened. 
that's what we're trying to make sure doesn't happen. That's why we keep a spreadsheet, and it's important for you guys to watch the numbers and see if you see anything changing, like we did with GBP USD. This is a 1500 trade. Let me get to it. 14. Oops, I fucking flew right by it. Sorry, language, I know. I think it was a 1500 trade. If not, I don't want to screw around too much, but I'm trying to prove, make y'all understand this is how important the spreadsheet is. Okay, well, it didn't really move, but two pips. So if two, the V7 gets rid of, let's say this would have been, here's 1501, let's say news popped, and this was, we get a 12.1 pips. One tick brings in a 12.1 spread used to be that could possibly close you out. With V7, it no longer closes you out. The trade will just continue to run. That's why, guys, if you're not on V7, get on V7. It got rid of the one tick news. It got rid of the one tick spread spike, and it, that's why I think it's performing so much better. Well, I'm not... I, I don't think. That's why it's performing better. <laughs> so, get on V7. The book will be updated. I already dropped the, in, the EA in the Slack room, so you have it. Watch for the book. If my daughter goes to spend the night, I will have everything out guaranteed by the morning. Otherwise, it'll probably be more like Sunday, because i got to deal with a seven-year-old and work. Um, it's Friday, guys, for me, so this is wrap-it-up time. Uh, make sure f everyone watch the first video. I know a lot of you are Forex scalpers. Take control of your trading. I mean, this is just bottom line for me. You can trade on the one minute, five minute, 15 minute, whatever the fuck you want. I hi I like Rinko because it basically will work on any template or system and you can adjust Rinko to your trading style. Like I show it that uh, when I was using three pip Rinko box, that was a little bit too slow for me. So I said, fuck it, I'm not gonna use that. I dropped it down to 2.5 or two, I think. The market conditions fell into what I want. I took a trade and it was out. I did it all live so you could see it, check it out. I mean. Take control of your trading. Don't let the market dictate to you how you trade. Rinko can be a great tool so you can dictate to the market how you're going to trade. Now, you do have to give a give and take on take profit and stop loss, but if you can set the pace of your own trading to what's comfortable for you, if you only have two hours to trade, drop those Rinko box size downs and force it to give you some trades. I know that sounds stupid and you're thinking, you can't force the market. Yeah, you kind of can force the market to give you what you want. You just need to become proficient in the way you're trading, and then you can actually use Renko to force out some trades. You might not get that 60 pip run you're looking for, but if you can trade for two hours and get six trades in with five pips each, you can get 30 pips. So, I mean, again, the guys in the group, I, I showed it with uh, the TAPFX system so that you can uh, know what to do, but again, don't let the market dictate it to you. If you're bored sitting there for two fucking hours and you get one trade, something needs to change. And that's pretty much the bottom line. All right, guys, if you have questions, you can Skype me, Slack me, email me, I don't give a fuck, YouTube me, Facebook me, whatever it is. Have a good one. I'll be around. I'm going to start working on the V7 book changes. Again, there's going to be a few updates in there, like how to tweak the EA. Mel, I will add in the changes for you and everyone else. Um, I'll be around if you have any questions. So thank you, and you all have a great weekend. Next week, we do have quite a few trades popping through. Oh, I didn't finish reviewing the week. Duh, I didn't remember what I was in. Okay, so core retail sales. Retail sales is a fucking mover. Tip I, now that I said it, it's going to be a dud. Watch. Okay, so core retail sales is a mover. We should be able to pull some pips out of this. This is a big one. It typically does move. Now that we said it, it won't. Okay, crude oil inventories. Pepperstone, those are your little money makers. FFXCM, we're getting there with Forex.com. So let's. I'll keep pushing with Forex.com and see if they're profitable. And let's see... FOMC, the fun. This one is a possible mover. I will straddle. It's a bunch of FOMC bullshit about the f statement. I think it's going to move. Uh, then we have a press conference. I'm going to straddle it for the fuck of it. I don't think so. 6.30, AUD News. We do not trade. Demo only. This is a demo only trade. This is for you who are learning still. So you can see how fucked up it is when the spread goes out of control. With V7, it might not be so jacked up. But demo trade only. Everything here... So we have 
Eh, let's use this. These are live trades. Yay! See what I mean? We got some good shit coming up next week. These are demo trades. If you're in the demo period, you can demo these. Do not trade them live. They break our rules. They're outside of the U.S. session. We don't trade it. If it's not London or U.S. session, we don't trade it. Why? Our spread's going to be out of control. And that covers Wednesday. Thursday, what do we got coming up? Well, with V7, Mel, we may be able to bring that into the wrap. Since we're getting rid of the spread, sp the tick spikes with the spread, I'm going to take a look at it. I'm actually going to start doing the demos on the off-session si off ones. We may be able to bring those into the wrap for a little bit of extra pips for, for each month. Okay, so 2.30 a.m., this is CHF. I don't touch this one. The spread on this is going to be high. I know it's during the U.S. session, and I know that it's freaking a major. Do not touch this one. The spread demo only. Okay, so this and I will review this every day next week. So don't worry, you don't have to remember this. GBP retail sales again. V7 demo it. Ah. Uh, if I see that V7 is able to pull GBP into profit, I'll put it back on live first and say, yes, it's a go. Official bank rate, monetary policy. We got another mover at 6 a.m., but it's it's GBP mainly. I'll V7 demo it. We have a live CAD trade, manufacturing sales, CPI core. This one's probably going to move too. So we've got a couple movers next week. I'm super happy because V7 should kill these. And last, we have a CAD tr speech. We could straddle it, but... Not to be rude if you're Canadian, no one gives a fuck what y'all say, really. It all comes from Europe or the U.S. And I don't mean that in a rude way, it's just the, it's the legit truth. No one really gives a shit about CAD news, really, because y'all are, your economy is stable. <laughs> it's not like the U.S. and Europe, so no one gives a shit about your news. 16th is a Friday. Uh, all you got is building permits, and that really just depends if the numbers change a lot and if it moves or not. We will straddle that one live, Euro UJ. Um, I'm hoping V7 brings GBP USD back into the mix. If it does, that means our pips go up quite significantly. That sums up the week. That sums up everything. V7 will be is now live. Let's get on it. And I posted it in the Slack room for you guys. PDF will be out latest Sunday morning so that we are all on V7 for next week and let it pull in some extra pips for us. Thanks, guys. If you have any questions, again, you can hit me up wherever. Skype. Slack, email, blah, 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 blah. You pick it, I'll probably answer. I'll be sitting around the rest of the day dicking around with the book, getting V7 ready. Mel, again, thanks for bringing it up about uh, the charts. I think, I honestly think the issue is MT4 is pushing out updates in the behind because this is the second issue in three weeks I've had with MT4. Something stops working uh, with trading access. That's why I had to recode it. One of the indicators stopped working. But MT4 said nothing about updates. So I think they are pushing out updates. They're just not changing the number. And the reason I think that is because sometimes it'll connect, then disconnect and reconnect, which indicates to me that an update got pushed. But I don't think they're updating the numbers because it's nothing... For, for them, it's nothing major. But it's fucking up some shit. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Have a good weekend. Hit me up with any questions. I will see you all Sunday. If the PDF is done, I am going to go live Sunday. Well, well, the PDF will be done, so I will go live Sunday. Let's reword that. <laughs> all right, guys. Enjoy, and I'll talk to you then. If you have questions, hit me up.